Curve Finance was hacked. And this hack is no minor deal. The hack has led to a significant loss and reduced value, affecting the investment made by thousands, if not millions of people who chose to hold onto its token in good faith. Does that sound familiar? This begs the question, will affected token holders ever recover? Stay tuned to find out all you need to know and more about Curve Finance. What is Curve Finance? Curve Finance is a DeFi platform designed on the Ethereum blockchain network to bypass the low slippage that accompanies swapping stablecoins and similar assets. It was founded by Michael Egorov and launched in June 2020. The platform uses a native token called Curve DAO token to facilitate transactions and allow users to participate in decision making. It's an ERC20 token, of course. CRV transactions are naturally verified using proof of stake consensus mechanism, a system whereby smart contracts allow users to approve entries on the blockchain based on the amount of CRV token they hold. Although the exchange initially ran on Ethereum, it was also later deployed on Polygon. Polygon is a layer two solution that was created to improve scalability. If you would like more information about Polygon, don't forget to click the link above to check it out. On July 30th, an unidentified hacker exploited a vulnerability in the Pythonic programming language used to design a CRV stable pools, AKA Viper compiler. Apparently, the attacker discovered a flaw in the code, re-entrance lock functions, and seized the opportunity to steal over $47 million worth of investor funds. That being said, let's move on to Curve's tokenomics. Curve Finance has a native token of the same name, Curve Finance Token, or CRV token for short. Despite the losses suffered by the protocol due to the cyber attack on the 30th of July, Curve Exchange still holds $2.3 billion worth of crypto, according to Masari.io. Ethereum attributes a large share of the platform's total value locked, contributing a whopping 94%. Other networks contribute much smaller portions of about 1% of the platform's total value locked. CRD has a max supply of 3.3 billion tokens and 870 million Curve DAO tokens. Approximately one third of the maximum supply is in circulation. During the token's launch, Curve Finance didn't employ any methods to raise funds, which is pretty interesting, meaning they did not have an ICO drop. This is an important detail because it makes Curve more bulletproof when it comes to regulation as there was no ICO. It positions it better to argue that it's not a security. Regulators in the United States use the Howey test to verify if an asset can be called a security. In the case of Curve Finance, it would be more difficult to prove it's a security because of the way that it was launched. While previously planned for some time in August, the CRV development community was surprised on August 14, 2020, when one of its anonymous members jumped the gun and mined 80,000 CRV. Once the CRV were transferred and the mining was validated, the launch was endorsed by the developer team. CRV trading was promptly made available on Binance, OKEX, and Poloniex. According to the Glock Crypto, by August 16, two days after launch, CRV had more than $1 billion worth in currency assets, and it had been locked up by traders seeking to earn CRV and the accompanying governance rights. Also of note is that Curve Finance borrows a portion of tokens spent on trading fees to tame the supply of CRV tokens. Given all that, what does Curve price action look like? CRV's all-time high came at $15.37 according to CoinGecko, but that was at launch on Binance, and the price then crashed down. If you want to hear about BNB, make sure to click on the link above. The real all-time high, in my opinion, came at $6.82 on January the 5th of 2022. On the same day, Ethereum's price was under $4,000. It seems that the CRV token has that latent effect 
where its price tends to take off after the rest of the major coins have peaked. Something to keep in mind about how to use it in a portfolio. From that all-time high to today, the price has dropped 91.81% to a price of 56 cents. Always remember that most crypto is only worth trading. If you have taken the time to find out what projects are worth a long-term hold, then keep those and earn interest on them. Most cryptos, however, are not worth that. Certainly not curve. However, if you are a trader, there have been good swing trades for you to be a part of. On December 20th, 2022, you could have gotten in at 50 cents and rode it all the way up to $1.30 in less than three months. That would have made you a good sum of money. It was a clear W bottom with an RSI less than 40 and a MACD that was just turning over. All the signs were there for someone to take advantage of the opportunity. And the most recent upturn in the crypto market is happening today. If you bought Curb on October 20th, 2023 at 41 cents and then sold it on November 11th for 56 cents, you would have pocketed just under 37% in gains. And then really, really fast, you would have done that. That is not bad at all, right? Now that we have seen what is possible in its price action, let's talk about its technology. Curve Finance inherits the consensus mechanism of its parent blockchain, which is proof of stake. Although Ethereum used to verify transactions using proof of work, the blockchain successfully initiated the transition to proof of stake last year. This move improved the blockchain security and power saving by 99%. This, this is for Ethereum. Although Bitcoin still operates using proof of work, the platform promises many amazing benefits, including reduced slippage. This means an exchange can exchange assets from liquidity pools at a good price. If you don't know, slippage denotes the difference between the true price of the asset and the price at which the exchange sells it to traders. Exchanges usually take this difference as profit. Curve protocol reduces slippage for core members. The platform has an intrusive, intuitive, simple design to give users the best trading experience. Curve supports virtually every popular stablecoin in the market. The exchange offers liquidity for USD peg stablecoins like USDC, USDT, TUSD, BUSD, SUSD, and PAX. If you're not a fan of stablecoins, you have the alternative training BTC backed stablecoins like SBTC, HBTC, RENBTC, and WBTC. Besides reduced slippage, Curve's DAO has an optimized structure that allows them to sell stablecoins at excellent rates. As a platform deployed on top of the Ethereum blockchain, Curve Finance was developed using the same programming language, Solidity. Now that we have covered its technology, let's discuss the founders. Michael Egorov is a Russian software engineer and mathematician. He created Curve Finance back in 2020. And you'll see that a lot of mathematicians are involved in blockchain and interested in software in general. It's just a very complementary skill set. Initially, Curve Finance was introduced to solve a severe liquidity issue in the crypto community during that period of time. At that time, Stablecoin traders experienced significant slippage when trading stablecoins due to its poor liquidity. Basically, exchanges didn't have enough stablecoins to go around, so they had to add money on top of the actual price of the token. For example, they could sell one unit dollar's worth stablecoin for a dollar and five cents instead of one dollar. Over a billion dollars worth of stablecoins, that, that is a huge difference. Curve Finance helps solve this problem by bringing automated market makers into the picture and implementing a special algorithm called bonding curves for stablecoin pairs. At first, Curve Finance was purely a decentralized exchange for swapping stablecoins. It didn't have a native token or decentralized autonomous organization. In the span of three years, Curve Finance grew to become one of the biggest decentralized exchanges out there. The developers added features like the DAO and partnered with other big names in the crypto world, which brings us to its partnerships. Curve Finance is crazy about offering abundant liquidity to its users. To this end, 
they go through the trouble of striking deals with other decentralized exchanges, lending platforms and uh, liquidity providers to enhance liquidity and improve yield farming strategies. Here are a few of the platforms that they have partnered with over the years. Here in Finance, which is a DeFi protocol where users can deposit crypto to provide liquidity to other users. In return, they earn periodic interests proportional to the amount of stake and how long they leave their tokens, right? which is yield farming. Curve combined resources with this platform to increase investor yield. Another one is uh, SushiSwap. Like Curve Finance, SushiSwap is another decentralized exchange. The two examples have a symbiotic relationship where one platform benefits from the other's liquidity and then together they're, they're more liquid and are better. On top of better liquidity, SushiSwap users also enjoy Curve's reduced slippage on stablecoin trades. Another interesting partnership is Aave. They have the same relationship SushiSwap had with Curve Finance. The collaboration improved both exchanges' supply of cryptocurrency, stablecoins, and gave Aave users more stablecoin options for borrowing that Aave by itself could not provide. That being said, competition is fierce in the crypto world. And up next, we're going to cover Curve's competition. Curve Finance is currently the second largest DeFi platform in the crypto world. With a total uh, locked value of 2.13 billion based on chain data provided by Masari.io. It is behind only Uniswap version three and is followed closely by Uniswap version two. Uniswap version 3 and version 2 have locked values of 2.47 billion and 1.19 billion, respectively. That combined amount is very large. Uniswap has a higher total value locked, of course. The price of a Uni token is $5.24. On the other hand, Curve Finance stays ahead by offering crypto users better exchange rates and low slippage for stable coins thanks to its rich network of liquidity providers and algorithms. Another competitor is Yearn Finance. Yearn Finance is a yield aggregator built on the Ethereum network that is able to maximize yield by dynamically allocating liquidity to a number of different DeFi protocols. It's an Ethereum dApp that automatically allocates supplied liquidity to different pools in the DeFi ecosystem. It can be seen as an automatic yield farming protocol that searches the market for the best return opportunities and supplies the pool liquidity. Its total value lock on DeFi Llama is $325.64 million. A year finance token is worth $6,338.71, which is the highest amount. So their tokenomics are very interesting if you want to look into them. PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange on the Binance Smart Chain. And notice that we've gone from Ethereum, Zone, Uniswap, to its biggest competitor, Curve Finance, to now Binance's Smart Chain's biggest, um, you know, DEX, which is PancakeSwap. Users at PancakeSwap exchange BEP token and can stake in liquidity pools earning Cake token. Its automated market maker mechanism eliminates the need for traditional order books making it more accessible. PancakeSwap has gained popularity due to its lower fees and faster transactions compared to some of the other platforms. PancakeSwap has a $1.49 billion in TBL. The token price is $2.35. The One Inch Network is another competitor, the decentralized finance aggregator and automated market maker that operates across multiple blockchains, including Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, and Polygon. So one inch is the most diverse, right? It, more than just its own native uh, parent blockchain. The native token for one inch grants governance rights and can be staked for further award. The platform aims to enhance DeFi accessibility, efficiency, for traders and for liquidity providers. And all of the competitors that we have spoken about are aiming to do that. And the differences have been their parent blockchain and their fee structures. Also, you know, the trust that people have in them. The total value lock is 5.51 million. 
the price of a one inch token is 35 cents.